Tonight was the first city county council meeting since last week's election and dozens of new proposals were introduced. Our Marion County reporter Lauren Kosick is in studio to break it down. So Lauren, where do we start? Well, Scott, there are two big proposals that were introduced tonight that could have a real impact on Indianapolis. The first being the proposed economic enhancement district for downtown. So what does that mean? Basically, property owners would be required to pay an annual fee, and then that money is used to help improve downtown. We're talking about things like public safety, cleanliness, and even homelessness. Right now, many of these programs are being funded with federal relief dollars, but those dollars are running out. It's an HOA-like structure for property owners in the mile square, so that's north, east, south, and west streets. At Monday's meeting, counselors did not have an opportunity to comment. However, the Republican caucus for the council did release a statement encouraging others to vote against the district, saying the timing after the election is, quote, dishonest and distasteful. So, Lauren, what else will the council be considering? Scott, there is another proposal that looks to help fund the 11 park project along the White River. And if you remember, the total cost is going to be about $1 billion. The district is called the Professional Sports Development Area. This would allow the city to take various taxes produced by the properties in the area and put them towards the project, a project that includes a 20,000 seat soccer stadium, apartments, retail, green space and a hotel. The goal is to have the stadium done for the 2025 season. So Scott, both of these proposals will now head to the Metropolitan and Economic Development Committee, and that is when we'll receive more details, hear from counselors, and that's also when you can voice your opinion. And again, that meeting will be happening next Monday night. And we know you'll be covering it for us. Mm -hmm. Lauren Costigan, Studio Tonight.